We've shown you over the past few episodes interviews from the Soybean Management Field Day held in Waterloo in mid-August. At that event, UNL Extension Soil Scientist Charles Shapiro sat down with us to talk about nitrogen use in soybeans and about the difficulty in deciding to apply or not apply nitrogen on your beans. The, the, big, question, the big answer to that question is that the soybeans have nodules that are bacteria that fix nitrogen and in our traditional yields for soybeans at 40, 50 bushels per acre, uh, they supply about half that nitrogen and the other half comes from the soil. So we haven't uh, had a real need and we've found in the past that putting nitrogen on soybeans actually decreases the amount of N that those nodules fix. So you're not gaining, you're just substituting. What separates those high yielding soybeans from just a normal baseline yield? We're looking and farmers are trying to get 80 to 100 bushel soybeans compared to 40, 50, 60. So when we do that and we assume about a 50% end contribution from the nodules, that other end uh, is much more than what the soil can produce. So a two, 3% organic matter soil may produce 60 to 100 pounds, well, you might need 150 pounds to make up the difference. So where does that end come from? Does it make a difference when you decide to apply it? What the research has shown is the later you apply it, the more likely it is going to be effective. And so what a farmer or somebody has to do is try to put N out a little bit later than when those nodules are working, but they don't want to put it out too late or else the soybean is basically dying. What's a typical yield boost that you could see using nitrogen? Most of the research that I've looked at and others have summarized, we're talking maybe 5%. And so if you're in a 70 bushel yield range, which would be a good yield, that's only three and a half bushels. So soybeans are $12 today. That's $30 maybe or 40. So unfortunately, sometimes it takes that much in nitrogen and there's not a real profit advantage. I'm assuming that most farmers are growing something other than soybeans as well, and most likely it's probably corn. So is there a benefit to rotating corn, soybeans, rather than just going corn, corn uh, in a continuous rotation? Corn does better following soybeans. Uh, there's a yield boost, and you can get that yield boost with less nitrogen. So there's a big benefit to growing corn after soybeans in terms of saving a little bit of nitrogen. The university recommends about 45 pounds less. Uh, nitrogen on the corn crop. And in the residue itself, as in bean residue versus corn residue? Yeah, the residue from the soybeans breaks down quicker than the corn residue, so that would be one place where there's some advantage. So is there a final recommendation or how would you advise a farmer to go about deciding whether or not to apply in? On soybeans, what I'm telling farmers is, first of all, you have to have a high yield environment. Putting N on is not going to bring your 60 bushels to 80 bushels. But if you're approaching 80 bushels and you're looking for a little bit of boost, then maybe trying N and trying it late would be something to experiment with. <music>